Hey, what's going on, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, Yoist Yan. I hope you lot are all doing well, and welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea news, well, transfer news, daily update. That's right, ever since the transfer ban has been lifted, stories have been going all over the calf, and ever since Chelsea also qualified into the next round of the Champions League, the stories have intensified. You know, because Chelsea can attract more players because they're in the Champions League, even though their next opponents are going to be really difficult. Still, it's good. Today we're going to be talking about highlighted targets and the how realistic it is that Chelsea will acquire them this January, so this winter. Chelsea obviously have targets long term or even short term being considered into the summer, but out of all the people linked to Chelsea Football Club, who can they actually bring this winter? Like, what's realistic? Sure, Chelsea have got a lot of money to spend, but obviously it's about the players as well. Would they want to come? We're going to talk about that. Before we do that, a reminder to you guys to subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so. I upload content every day, so you want to keep it locked. Make sure you click subscribe, the bell notifications icon, and if you want to help your boy out, please do like this video. Oh yeah, and if you enjoy FIFA 20 or watching funny FIFA 20 videos, click in the link at the top of the description to go check out my other channel, Yam Plays, and watch me play Chelsea career mode on FIFA 20 and have loads and loads of laughs. Happy times! So in this video, I'm going to be talking about five players Chelsea have been linked with. I'm going to be talking about Timo Werner, Jadon Sancho, Ben Chilwell, Wilfred Zaha and Nathan Ake. Two of these players I think are going to be very difficult to get in January. Two of them are going to be pretty darn easy if Chelsea want them. And one lies somewhere in the middle. You can probably guess of your own opinion at the moment, but I'm going to take you through each player and explain the reasoning why. Let's start with a difficult one, Timo Werner. The young German striker who plays in the Bundesliga for RB Leipzig has been in sensational form this season, scoring loads of goals and having a lovely time. Werner is a football target shared by loads of clubs in world football. He's very young, he's very exciting, dynamic, and he's a lethal centre forward who's quite strong and as well as being fast. Again, Chelsea have money at the moment and they'd probably have the money to bring Werner to Chelsea Football Club. Problem being, it's a January transfer and even if generally Werner might see Chelsea as a step up that he'd like from RB Leipzig, because you know Chelsea Football Club is a big club in London, and no disrespect to RB Leipzig, but they are the most hated club in the Bundesliga. But everything's going well for them at the moment and to be honest, if there's one season where they've got a really good chance of winning the Bundesliga, it's this season. Bayern Munich are in 7th place as things stand and at the top of the Bundesliga at the moment it's RB Leipzig alongside with Borussia Mönchengladbach. Nagelsmann's at the helm and everything's sort of exciting and positive at the moment in Leipzig so it'll be very difficult to take him away from that. He's in scintillating form in the Bundesliga. He could win the golden boot out there, he could win a league title. When things are going really really well in the, in the league you're playing in it's very difficult to try and upset them and pull yourself away. Unless there was some sort of now or never deal on the table with Werner and the club wanted to make money on him now, really this move would be a very, very, very difficult one to pull off. Right, moving on to the next potential deal and it is indeed another difficult one. And that is young Englishman Jadon Sancho. Now again, I believe Jadon Sancho would want the move to Chelsea. This is something I've discussed on Football Therapy many times before. He's a Chelsea fan. He idolised Frank Lampard. He's really good mates with Hudson Odoi. Grew up with Tammy Abraham. Probably would like the idea of coming back to London. He's established in the England side. He'd start for Chelsea with his mates. A load of stuff. But although he was unsettled in Dortmund, he seems to have settled again and also they've qualified for the next round of the Champions League. Sancho's found his feet again and to be honest he never really dipped form, his numbers this season are very very impressive still. But now they're through to the next round and he seems to be a bit happier there, you'd imagine he'd stay to the summer and Dortmund have come out making noise and saying yeah we want to keep him to the summer. I think people like Raphael Honigstein have said they've sort of resigned to the fact he is going and it will be the summer. It did look for a while it could be January. But now he's scoring again and helping them progress in games. Um, to be honest, they might fancy themselves to go up the Bundesliga as well and give it a title challenge. For the moment, they'll need Jadon Sancho for that while they can't replace him. And really, this is one of those deals now that's become incredibly hard to push over the line 
this winter. Who knows though, watch this space, I'll of course keep you updated on football therapy. Right, so three players left, Nathan Ake, Wilfried Zaha and Ben Chilwell. We've had the two super difficult ones out of the way, so which is the one that's in the middle of the road? Well, that's Ben Chilwell. Now obviously, Ben Chilwell is having a lovely time up in Leicester at the moment. He's England's starting left back and he's playing in the only team in the Premier League that could potentially challenge Liverpool for the title. So things are going pretty well. And this is really another reason why you'd be like, why would he leave mid-season when something's going so, so well for him and he could just potentially make the move in the summer? Ah, well the thing is, Chelsea have Champions League football. Obviously, Leicester aren't playing any Champions League football, but that suits them in terms of a title challenge, preparing for one game every week against Liverpool who are playing loads of games. But as a player, an individual, a professional footballer, he might want to play in the Champions League. If Chelsea said to him, look mate, come and play for Frank Lampard, it's really fun down in South West London, you'll be the starting left back for the next whatever five years and beyond if you fancy it. And Chelsea generally win titles. So that's great in itself, but in the short term, Dude, we're in the Champions League. You get to play under the lights, listen to the anthem, and play against what is probably, or what will be, a massive team in terms of opposition. That's both good and bad. It's good because of the prestige and excitement, but it's bad because Chelsea will be a pretty much underdogs regardless to who they draw. Probably even Leipzig, considering how they're doing in the league. So Chelsea will be favourites to get knocked out of the Champions League as soon as they dip back into it, which might not look great for any player coming in, but who knows, you have to believe, right? So that's why Chilwell is in the middle. He might see Chelsea as an opportunity he can't turn down, but he also might feel like he's doing Leicester really dirty if he leaves mid-season, as well as quite squashing any potential title-challenging hopes he's got. If he came to Chelsea, Chelsea finished fifth, Leicester won the league. Ugh. Kind of like a Harry Maguire vibe, but look what's happening now at United. To be fair, they're doing a bit better. Still, you see what I'm saying? And that's why Ben Chilwell is a sort of middle of the road, maybe option. So, you guessed it, the two very, very achievable January transfer targets are Nathan Ake and Wilfred Zaha. Before we get to Zaha, because this is a bit of a controversial one, certainly splitting opinion, let's talk about Nathan Ake. First off, Bournemouth won't want to let him go, they won't want to sell him, but Chelsea have a buyback clause, so it's not in the hands of Bournemouth. The destiny of Ake is in his, you know, in his own hands, he chooses where he wants to go, but Chelsea can trigger the buyback clause and get the Premier League central defender for £40 million, which is a very reasonable price for a player of that quality. Yes, I know Chelsea sold him for 25 million, but still, if, if you look at how much experience he's got in the Premier League, what age he is, how good he is, how talented he is, 40 million for a player of that age and that experience is a snip, especially if you consider it being a January transfer. Ake is a very versatile player. He can play uh, any centre back position in a two or three. We can play left back, left wing back. And Frank Lampard seems to like utility players. But the thing that would be stopping this is the return of Antonio Rudiger into the side. He does look like such an influential player and he looks like he will be a starting centre back for Chelsea moving forward. Frank Lampard has the ability to select from Fakayo Tomori, Andreas Christensen, and Kurt Zuma to partner Rudiger. So he's got selections. Although Ake will be a good deal and totally achievable, now Rudy's back, it's kind of like, is this really a priority position? Ake would obviously have to be starting for Chelsea. That would probably be in the terms of his contract. So you'd be looking at a starting centre-back partnership of Ake and Rudiger. Players like Zuma, Tomori and Christensen would have to rotate in and you'd imagine one would be sold maybe Christensen. So it's a difficult one and really you could probably end up seeing Ake going to Manchester City in January if they really want him for something like 50, 60 million, maybe even more. Watch this space, I'll of course keep you guys updated. And finally, another very, very achievable January transfer target is Crystal Palace forward Wilfred Zaha. Now a lot of Chelsea fans are not interested in Zaha whatsoever. Probably because it will cost too much money. But Zaha is one of the sort of elite Premier League players that aren't in a top four side. In a better team, Zaha could do a lot of work. He's very lethal, he's fast, he's good at dribbling, he can finish, he's good at trickery, and he's good at combinations in the final third. 
he would also want the move to Chelsea. Chelsea are a big club, they're a top four club and they're playing in the Champions League. Zaha's always wanted to play in the Champions League and he's good enough to be playing in the Champions League. A Champions League club around Europe, even if that's potentially not, say, a top four team in the Premier League. Although I think there'd still probably be a space for him somewhere in a top four team in the Premier League. But he is worth so much more to Crystal Palace than what they might sell him for. He keeps them in the Premier League often, which is worth, I think, about 300 million or 150 50 million to 300 million and they'd have to be selling him well they want 100 million minimum for Zaha which I don't think is going to happen but apparently that asking price has been reduced to 80 million still let's be real I'm thinking what all you lot are thinking that's too much money for Wilfred Zaha if he handed in a transfer request and he demanded to leave Crystal Palace for Chelsea maybe the price could be lowered but still probably not to a realistic price that people would accept Think about it, Jaden Sancho is going to be 120 million plus, maybe even more, I can't even really speculate a figure, but a lot. But if for some reason Wilfred Zaha came on the market for 50 million and was happy to rotate in a side that plays Champions League football, who we know is Premier League proven and wins your side a lot of penalties that say someone like Jorginho could constantly convert, you know, and therefore win some games, maybe it'd be a good deal. But really, as achievable as this January transfer target is, it's going to be too much money. Anyway, what do you guys think? Get down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on these players. Make sure you do subscribe to Football Therapy because I keep you guys updated daily on Chelsea news and Chelsea transfer news. Also, if you want to help me out, please do go subscribe to Yan Plays by clicking the link in the top of the description and come support the channel and have some fun with me playing FIFA. Other than that, follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it for me, guys. You lot enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.